Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Chromebook versus a laptop versus a desktop. I'll specifically be addressing which one should you get with this easy comparison. Let's get right into the video. So I actually have all three of them here and through between myself, my wife and my kids, we have all three types of units. So I feel like this is a pretty unbiased review, not review, but an unbiased comparison as to which one you should get. I'll be showing you all three of them and then I'll be talking to you about the various factors that you should be considering with regards to the one that suits your needs the best. This is a desktop over here. Let me just bring it up for you. It is, as you can see, this is a pretty big desktop, okay? So like this is a, this is a sizable desktop. They can come in smaller options than this, but this is something that if you want a powerful desktop computer, this is the tower size that you're gonna be looking at. Now this is a desktop from a long time ago, so they probably will be a little bit smaller nowadays, but still, it's gonna be very similar in size to what you see over here, okay? This is a laptop, okay, over here. Um, as you can see, much more portable, much smaller, has a screen attached to it. And then this is a Chromebook over here. Um, and this is an even smaller model than the laptop. It has a smaller screen. Um, and yeah, a much smaller, a little bit thinner than the laptop. Now, let's go over the various factors. So first and foremost, portability, okay? So straight up, a desktop has zero portability. You has, it has to be plugged in, okay? And it has to be sort of, you know, in one spot because it's gonna have a monitor that attaches to, which is the screen. Okay, I actually have a monitor over there for a different video. I should have brought it in here, but I'm sorry I didn't. I don't wanna go get it now and go off the screen. But it needs to have a monitor attached to it. It needs to have a separate keyboard, a separate mouse, a separate potential speaker system, microphone system, everything, right? So a desktop has no portability. A laptop and a Chromebook, on the other hand, basically have unlimited portability. You can use them wherever you want as long as you have enough space to place them down and they're really small as you can see and enough uh, battery power to use, okay? So portability, if you're looking for something portable, desktop is out of the question. Laptop and Chromebook have basically the same portability factor, okay? Uh, price, now, you are, like I said, we're dealing with averages because you can find a super cheap laptop, you can find a super expensive desktop, right? But, but I'm going to talk to you about as a rule of thumb. So desktops, if you get the equivalent desktop power as laptop power, basically your desktop is going to be cheaper mostly, most likely, than the laptop. Because with the laptop you're getting a screen included and you're getting portability. That's if you are getting, you know, an actual, the same quality of build and desktop as laptop. However, most desktops will be more powerful and more capable than the than laptops that are available, okay? But in terms of like, if you have the exact same desktop, sorry, I just stepped on something. I thought it was a bug. I'm in my basement. I thought it was like a little, you know, bug, spider, or whatever, but it's just a little piece of plastic that I have to go pick up after, so I'll clean it up after the video. Um, in terms of the equivalent desktop and laptop processing power and stuff, the desktop is gonna be cheaper because it doesn't have the portability factor. Chromebooks, most of the time, are gonna be even cheaper than uh, laptops or desktops, but because they are dealing with Chrome OS, which is not as capable as a full-on desktop or desktop or laptop, um, they are generally gonna be cheaper. So if you're looking for the cheapest thing to do some word processing and basic computer stuff, then maybe you should consider a Chromebook, okay? If your budget is not something that bothers you and you have an unlimited budget, you can just get a super powerful laptop and you can bring it anywhere with you. And if you're looking for something in the middle where you want good power, um, but not the most expensive option, then a desktop might be something that you consider, but there's no portability. A capability. So you can get, you know, unbelievably powerful laptops and really not powerful desktops. But with regards to capabilities, you know, you're going to get the most options for power and memory storage with a desktop. Okay, um, you know, they're just they're just going to be more capable in general um, with regards to what you can do on the actual unit. Not portability, but with regards to like using the actual operating system. Laptops are going to sort of be second best and in the middle of this trio right here. Um, because, you know, you can get them pretty powerful. Maybe not as powerful as the super powerful, powerful desktops. Just because there's not as much space, plain and simple. Um, and then Chromebooks are going to be at the bottom of the list. They're not 
as capable as the other stuff, but if you're looking for basic stuff to do, you know, Chrome OS is amazing and, and a Chromebook will get the job done. But, you know, if you're looking for something that's super capable, high-end video editing, high-end photo editing, you know, you're going to want to go with a laptop or a desktop and a desktop will give you more options, okay? Upgradability, okay? Now, Chromebooks um, basically can't really be upgraded other than if you put in like a, a, a micro SD memory card for the memory. Um, laptops, it, they, it's very difficult to upgrade them and only certain aspects can be upgraded, okay? Whereas desktops, basically you could take any part of a desktop and upgrade it. And it's not even that hard to do. So with regards to upgradability, um, desktops are top of, top of the list here. Laptops are somewhere in the middle. Chromebooks are at the bottom. Like I said, you can probably upgrade these if you really know what you're doing, but it, you're gonna be limited. Whereas a desktop, you can just take the whole thing apart and replace anything for the most part. As long as, it's, uh, as, long as it works. As long as it's, uh, it works with the other components that you have in there, okay? Lastly, space dedication. If you are in a cramped space and you um, you don't have a lot of space to work with, then a laptop or Chromebook is the way to go. Most of the time, Chromebooks are going to be available in smaller sizes than laptops. Like this is an example. This laptop has a big screen. This Chromebook has a medium-sized screen. So these are just only examples. But you know, you can get laptops with really big screens, and you can get Chromebooks that are quite small. Right, so with that being said, you know, um, as a rule of thumb, a laptop or a Chromebook is better for space dedication if you don't have a lot of space. If you have a lot of space and you want to get something that has a really big screen, then maybe you consider a desktop because with a desktop, you can get a massive screen, right? You can get a, a full keyboard, you can get the best mouse that you can find. So if you have the space and you don't need to bring it around with you, then a desktop might be your best bet because you can really trick this thing out, okay? Um, whereas if you don't have a lot of space and you're looking for something portability-wise, laptop or Chromebook is the way to go. It all depends on what you need, to be honest with you. That's the truth of the matter. It all depends on what you need. So that's it. That is a, a, the most truest comparison. That is the truest comparison that I can give you with regards to desktop versus laptop versus Chromebook. Like I said, we have all three. And sorry, I had some notes over here. That's why I keep glancing over because I just wanted to keep myself in order, in line and in order of what I wanted to say. So that's why I figured that I could do this sort of unbiased comparison. Um, I myself use a laptop. Uh, for almost everything just because I don't need the extreme processing power But I do need the portability because because of my busy lifestyle I basically work wherever I can like if you give me a spot to sit and I can put it on my lap The laptop on my lap and I'm gonna be able to work. I don't need anything else. I have a tiny pair of headphones That's basically all that I need to work. So for me a laptop works best But if I was doing high-end video editing like I used to do or high-end photo editing like I used to do back in the day Then I was working with a desktop because they're so capable and uh, the Chromebook my kids use for school assignments because it's just so fast and easy to work with. There's like very, an extremely small learning curve. It's mostly through the cloud, so it's great for their school assignments and stuff. And yeah, that's basically, that's how we use all three of these or use or used all three of these, okay? Because I basically don't use a desktop anymore for the most part, but I still have them in case I need to do something high-end, really difficult to process. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.